Welcome back, everybody. This is Dave Hayes, and this is Hayes Tech ROM Reviews. Um, this is going to be round two. Uh, this is CR Droid. I'm doing a, a review on CR Droid, obviously. Um, and this is the second time I'm uh, making this video. The first time, obviously, uh, YouTube <laughs> must not like the ending on it because, uh, well, they cut it rather short. Um, so I'm going to go through it again. Uh, this, there's not a lot to it, guys. Um, CR Droid is a uh, Cyanogen mod based uh, ROM. Uh, if you guys like uh, um, uh, Tmesic and uh, uh, some of those other ROMs like that, uh, that's kind of like what CR Droid is like. Um, this ROM is compiled com or built by Neobuddy89. Uh, I'll show you the XDA thread. Uh, whoops, uh, just going to my recents here. I have everything already ready to go. Neobuddy89. Uh, let you guys look at the, um, you know, the highlights and features while while I talk about it a little bit. Um, NeoBuddy89 was one that actually brought us uh, signage mod uh, or CM14 uh, for the uh, Nexus 6. Uh, he was the first one to bring this out. He's been working really, really hard on CM14, uh, and we don't have all the features yet uh, for signage mod, but they are coming, guys. Um, I can't wait until we get the, uh, you know, CMTE uh, theme engine. It seems really funny <laughs> for me to run a, a CM-based ROM and use Substratum, you know, but uh, it's the way it is, and I'm just glad at least we have Substratum. Uh, I will be happy when uh, we do get the full uh, signage mod theme engine uh, capabilities with the ROM. Uh, that's just going to be awesome. Uh, but make sure, guys, if you use this uh, build, and I can tell you right now, um, I don't have my SIM card in now. Uh, I'm done with my testing on it, but it's all working. Uh, it's The ROM's running great. Uh, but the only thing that I found um, that uh, I had an issue with uh, was the uh, see it w was the uh, theme engine, which uh, is Substratum. I was having issues uh, with some of the themes. Some of the themes that you guys enable um, will actually throw the ROM into... Uh, soft booting constantly uh, it once the ROM boots up it'll only run for maybe 10 seconds or 20 seconds and then it boots uh, reboots again into a soft boot um, you might even find where it won't boot up at all you're gonna be in a boot loop uh, guys if you get into that situation whoops uh, if you get into that situation it's very easy to get out of it uh, you need to boot back into recovery uh, for once you once you are booted into recovery uh, you need to go. Uh, you go, need to go to mount first. Okay. Once you get there, mount system. Then go back. Uh, go into advanced. Uh, go to file manager. Then you want to scroll down to system. Uh, then you want to scroll down to um, uh, <laughs> overlays. Uh, oh no! Scroll down to vendor. And inside vendor, you want to click on overlays, and then you want to delete that whole folder out of there. Then reboot your phone, and when the when the phone boots back up. Uh, it'll boot right up with no theme at all, and it should run for you. So that'll get you out of a pickle <laughs> in case you uh, have a theme that doesn't work. Um, let's go ahead and get into this ROM. I'm going to try to keep it short, guys. There's not a lot to this ROM uh, yet. Um, just like a lot of the other Nougat ROMs out, there's not a lot of custom features uh, in it. They are slowly getting them put in. Um, so uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to About Phone so we can let you guys see that this is... Uh, for the Nexus 6, it is Android version 7.0. Uh, this is CR Droid uh, version or build um, uh, 10.16, which is, of course, October 16. Um, I am running uh, the supplied kernel, which is his kernel. It's called Sigma kernel. Uh, you can also download this kernel as a uh, flat, excuse me, as a flashable kernel. Uh, there were requests made on the XDA thread, and uh, they did make the kernel into a flashable. You can download it, use it on a different ROM if you want. Uh, Sigma kernel on its own is actually a, a pretty good kernel. Um, so uh, uh, that's the way that is. Uh, it, it is running and forcing uh, right now, but you can actually change that um, in the uh, uh, if, if you run Magisk Manager, uh, which I'm running root, and the root I'm running is Magisk. I'm not running. Uh, chain fire super sue and the reason why is because um, I like magisk and if I'm not mistaken I want to go back to the XDA thread real quick um, 
if underneath flashable, uh, there I, I flash so many ROMs. It's just uh, you want to make sure you guys that you read this instructions on how to flash. Um, all right, okay, yeah. Um, basically, you can pick what Super Sue you want to run. Uh, I pick Magisk because uh, Magisk works for me and the uh, uh, and my apps on Nougat. Uh, I have no issues at all with it. Um, it 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 comes up the first time every time, uh, and I always have root. And what's nice about it is I can shut it off with the Magisk Manager. And uh, if you want to run an app that requires you not to be rooted, it'll run for you. So just so you guys know, um, at least on my phone, guy. There's another thing I want to bring up quickly. Everybody's devices are different. Okay, just if it runs on mine, doesn't necessarily mean it's going to run on yours. All right, enough enough uh, of me chatting. Uh, we're going to go into the CR or Droid settings. Uh, first up is going to be your status bar. Uh, again, there's not going to be a lot here, but this is uh, like the first release of this, guys. Okay, so it's going to get nothing but better from here on out. Uh, you have your uh, enable uh, SU icon and your CR Droid logo, which is awesome because they also let you color it. And we're actually going to go with an orange color to keep with the theme. Uh, let's throw that. Nice. All right. Um, Quick settings is up next. Uh, this is going to allow you to uh, set up your drop down. Right now, my drop down I have it three, uh, three wide, and whatever they they have here, uh, they have it. Uh, I don't know why that is. I usually go three, and then this I'll go four. Uh, let's see. And landscape, I'm not going to set my landscape up. Um, although three, two. Wow. Okay. Now. Um, well, I'm not even going to get into that. I know on some of them, uh, tablet mode, they don't give you hardly anything at all for that. Um, so that's actually pretty cool. Uh, then you have toggles, uh, you know, your Wi-Fi, uh, easy toggle, Bluetooth, easy toggle, uh, data, easy toggle, which I like. Um, I had to reset this ROM up, guys, <laughs> to redo the video. So, um, yeah, I was done with it. Moving on to the next ROM, I was getting ready to do another video. And then uh, when I went to uh, check... Um, because I'd watched the video completely through. Uh, and then when I went to uh, check it, my, the time was like cut like about, I don't know, six or seven minutes off the video. So, yeah, anyways, nav bars. Uh, let's see, pretty much just enable nav bar. Uh, nothing there yet. Uh, the, and I will tell you the uh, settings for that is on down, and we will get to that. Uh, notifications, uh, force expanded and disable immersive. Um... Lock screen, uh, screen shortcuts, uh, pretty much standard stuff on here. Uh, they allow you to clock, date, alarm. You can turn that off or on if you want. Uh, swipe short shortcuts. These are uh, for your bottom shortcuts. Uh, you can set swipe gestures for them. Um, and also, I wanted to talk about the screen shortcuts up here are actually center. Uh, short. You guys can put uh, shortcuts on your center screen if you want. Uh, all you do is click add, uh, you know, uh, go to either applications or whatever you want to do. Uh, it's simple. If, like if you want to put something cool, uh, like say maybe I wanted my screen recorder app uh, on my home screen. I just click that and there it is. Now it's on my home screen. I'll grab another one quickly. I'll go to applications. Uh, let's see. Let's put something. I'll put Google Plus on my home screen. So uh, now when I go to uh, you know, reboot it, you notice I have shortcuts in my center screen now, along with my bottom. So that's pretty cool. That's a first. So uh, good going for uh, C uh, on CR Droid for that, or, you know, uh, NeoBuddy89. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. We went over to the interface, uh, gestures, uh, tap to sleep, torch, uh, notification count, power menu. Um, this is, uh, let me see, allow accessing power menu lock screen. Yes. Um, again, I said it in the last video. Sorry, guys, I needed to drink. Um, in the last video, I said uh, pretty much the same thing. I don't hide anything on my phone. I don't ever carry anything on it um, that I'm worried about anybody getting a hold of, so I don't use that feature. If you guys have stuff on your phone you don't want anybody to see or have access to, like if you're really into porn or whatever, or you know you are, you got a lot of personal you know passwords and stuff on there, then use it. Um, but there are ways around that, guys. Believe me. 
Uh, recent screen. Uh, immersive recent settings. Uh, let me see. Is overridden if the expanded desktop. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Uh, let's see. Immersive recents. I like to run full screen. Uh, hidden apps. Uh, let's see. Use for recents. Um, oh, that was another thing. Uh, this is one of the first ROMs I've seen out yet, with uh, for, or at least for Nougat, uh, that's, that has OmniSwitch on it. Um, now, I haven't tested it. Uh, let's go ahead and try it. Uh, see if it comes up. Uh, I don't see it. But, you, you know, guys, it's been so long since I've used Omni. Look, my recents aren't working anymore, so. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to go into it this way. Uh, we're going to go back into it and shut her down. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm going to shut that off. There we go. Let me see if it works. In Got him back. Um, yeah. I haven't used that in a long time, so I'm not really that familiar with it, guys. If you guys do manage to use it, uh, put in the, uh, in the uh, video uh, comments whether or not it worked, how well it worked for you, stuff like that. I'm sure other people watching the video would like to know. Um, under sound... Uh, you have your enable screenshot sounds and then your volume steps, so less frequent notification sounds. Uh, miscellaneous. Uh, it's going to be your clock widget. Uh, yes, this is where you can go ahead and set your clock widget up. There's one little bug to this, uh, and it's not really a bug. It all, it all depends on who you are. Uh, to me, it is. Um, and uh, when I say a bug, uh, I'm not talking about something that's uh, detrimental to me or that's going to make me not want to run uh, the ROM at all, but uh, you're going to see right here, uh, when you go to display weather, you're going to get uh, no weather source, all right? Uh, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to say, all right, uh, add a weather source. You have to go to the Play Store. Uh, you're going to have to download them, one from there. Uh, Yahoo is usually the one that uh, Signage and Mod goes with. Click Install. Um, and what happens is once this installs, you're going to have to go into Settings and uh, set it up to, uh, uh, to enable it. So uh, we are going to click on Enable. Uh, I'm also going to go, and this is going to give you guys a, a chance to see how you do this. So uh, go back. We're going to scroll down to Apps. Uh, we are going to scroll all the way down to the Signage and Mod app. And we are going to go to Permissions and see they're already granted. Uh, now, I don't know if I can click on Default or not. Uh, let's see, open by default, no default set. Uh, see, it, it doesn't give me the option to use it uh, as a default app. So um, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. We're going to go back into the CR Droid settings, miscellaneous uh, widget. Now, it's going to be there and it's going to work for me. But if I go to throw in a custom location, all right, uh, let me just put in, um, let's go. Uh, Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh, PA. It, it, it's not going to set that. Cannot retrieve location. No matter what you put in there, it's going to say cannot retrieve location. I've already tried it uh, several times. So that's a feature that uh, that I don't like, um, or it's a, it's a bug to me. Uh, again, guys, it may not be to you, uh, but it is to me. I like to set a uh, uh, my own location. Um, it's just that's something I like to do, uh, and it at least even in the final uh, uh, it, at the end of Marshmallow, a lot of the ROMs that they were putting out by CM, um, you know, they they just that feature was uh, was an issue. So I just wanted to let you guys see that. Uh, but again, guys, it's not a big issue. So you know, if it doesn't concern you, move on. It's like me. Uh, the, the heck with it. I really don't need it. Um, that's about it. Uh, remove settings, summary, de uh, let me see, disable suggestions, auto start, music player. Uh, and then, of course, all the way at the bottom, you have your expanded desktop. You can click on that if you want. I'm not going to touch it uh, because I don't want it to uh, shut my video down. Um, all right, I think that's it. Uh, what I'm going to do is we are going to go to the system UI, the system UI tuner. Um, and all they have is, let me see here, that's it. Uh, yes. Yes. I was kind of hoping to find the nav bar settings under other, do not disturb, yes. Um, 
because uh, I couldn't find the nav bar settings. So let's just scroll, let's go down through here. Uh, under display settings, standard display settings, guys. Um, you know, no surprise with that. Uh, let's see, notifications. I'm not even going to go there. That's just for you to go through your apps, pick and choose which ones you want to actually show. Um, under other sounds, uh, these are your other sound options. And uh, we'll go through, or uh, we'll hit security real quick, let you guys see that. Uh, you can encrypt your phone if you like. Uh, administrators, I will tell you that on this ROM, unknown sources does not, uh, it, it's not clicked on by default. Uh, make sure you guys turn that on. And it is a signage and mod based ROM, so you're going to get your privacy settings with your privacy guard, protected app, signage and mod statistics, all of that, uh, which I always turn those off, anyways. Uh, and that guys is about it we'll get down to developer options real quick i uh, want to have that advanced reboot turned on you also want to get down to your root settings uh, make sure apps and of course that's i haven't touched it so it's already on um, uh, again uh, you should be able to run just signage and mods app uh, as far as root goes uh, i like magics or magisk i use it uh, but you don't need to uh, signage and mod has its own root built in and it works. It works very, very well. Um, I can't think of anything else, guys. Uh, I will tell you that uh, even if you use Magisk, I'm not sure with Signage and Mod ROMs uh, whether or not that is going to uh, complete. Um, yeah, there it goes. Um, it may not completely turn off the root uh, because Signage and Mod is just made that way. Um, so I'm just giving you a little heads up, a little bit of warning right there, uh, right now. Uh, again, the only thing I can tell you uh, that I found as far as bugs go uh, for this ROM uh, is going to be the, uh, the signage and mod theme engine. Um, if you guys click on, and I will give you guys an example, uh, Magpie theme, I clicked on that and it, it threw me into a boot loop um, where the phone would boot up and it would run for about... <sighs> I don't know, 15, maybe 20 seconds at the most, and then it would just drop right into a uh, fast reboot. Uh, nothing I could do about it. Um, it. It was going so fast that I couldn't even get in and disable the, uh, the theme. Uh, so just use that little trick. I, 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 it's not a trick. It's how you do it. Uh, but just use those instructions I gave you at the beginning of the, uh, at, uh, at the, beginning of the uh, video, um, and that will get you out of that issue. Well, guys, uh, sorry I had to make this twice, <laughs> and uh, at least some of you guys have sat through it the first time. You didn't miss much. Uh, we went through most of the settings, um, and I did get most of the information out to you. Guys, if you used it wrong, make sure you thank NeoBuddy89 for this, because this is not the only thing he did. He brought us CM14. Uh, he is the one that really, really busted his butt uh, to get us uh, CM14 on the Nexus 6. Uh, and like I said, this is a side project. Uh, I do know he worked with Team ASIC, uh, Team ASIC for quite a while. Um, and then as you guys know, Team ASIC is no longer um, a, uh, 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 they're no longer around. Um, and he has moved on and uh, he, he, did, he was mentioning in the XDA thread that uh, he had another project and then of course this came out. Uh, so I'm, I'm guessing this was his other project, which is pretty cool. I love CR Droid. And as uh, good as NeoBuddy89 is, um, I'm hoping we're going to see a lot of good things. Uh, so, guys, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, I want to thank all of my subscribers. I really appreciate every one of you guys. Um, I'm getting close to that 500 mark. I, I would have never thought uh, I'd get that high, but it's pretty cool. Um, you know, I've got a little niche uh, audience, so a lot of people don't want to sit through long videos. And you guys know me. I'm thorough. I want to show everything in the video. So uh, I do appreciate uh, your support. Um, that's about it. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Oh, and there's going to be a lot of ROMs coming out or a lot of videos because uh, the, uh, the Nougat ROMs are starting to, to just break free now. So uh, ex start expecting to see quite a few videos coming out. Uh, I will see you guys on the next one.